quick video. Um, I don't know how many of you have seen the Tony Sewell report. Um, another waste of time, another waste of resources, and probably you've been paid for that, so another waste of money. Another report that's going to sit on the shelf somewhere and have nothing done with it. You've literally chucked, thrown, burnt, beaten, kicked the black community under the bus. You've been disrespectful to our ancestors with your comment about the slave trade. I found that highly disrespectful. And the part that is even worse and so embarrassing is the fact that those in the mainstream press are absolutely tearing this report apart. Because like I said in my posts on Facebook, this is embarrassing. And how is it that we have the white wider community tearing this report to shreds. It is just absolutely vile, absolutely vile. And to see that this has been put out in such a time where the George Floyd trial is going on at the moment, sorry, those that murdered George Floyd's trials going on. I don't know when this report had been completed, but it is, is irrelevant. In the last few years that we've had that has brought things to the forefront to say to our white counterparts and those that make decisions on our behalf, because as a community, we are always silenced and shut down. You were given an opportunity to actually make sure that the disparities in racism, the disparities in exclusions from school, the disparities in employment, the disparities in racism children face in um, university, those that are faced in the NHS, why black people are dying, why black women are still dying from childbirth in 2021. All of those things could have been brought to the forefront within this report. How do you do a report that is based on no facts? How do you do a report and have the cheek and dare and the bare face to publish absolute BS. I don't understand what has been done here. I don't understand why it has been done. And I don't understand why it has been published. This is embarrassing. It is a joke. And it's a disrespect to the black community of the UK in particular. Did we learn nothing from Win Winrush? Winrush is still an ongoing problem. And you're trying to tell me that the UK is not institutionally or systematically racist. We see this in the police force. We see this in the NHS. Yes, nurses are doing a good job, but why is it that black women are dying doing something as standard as giving birth? Why is it that black people are dying um, so high rates with regards to the COVID? Why are black children 168 times more likely to be permanently excluded from school? Why is it? Let me move on to another one because we already know all the whys and the wherefores, but you failed. You failed on this. Let's move on. Boom, bye, bye. Bam, bam. Pimlico School in Westminster, you have been called out on your racism to do with your students and their natural hair. Mr. Smith, how does it feel? The fact that you have ch you've put a school policy in place that is racist. It is racist. And what I want to give thanks for, this is to all the students of that school that took part in the process. I don't know if it was this morning or yesterday. Big up to yourself, 100% high five from Cheryl Phoenix, from the Black Child Agenda. This is what I'm talking about. Making a stance, stop being a victim, stand up, be counted. And to see white, black, Asian, hijabs, no hijabs, Afros sitting down, protesting about your basic and fundamental human rights to wear your hair to school as it grows out of your head. Thank you to you young people. And I give you nothing but applause and respect. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I hear that some of the adults are coming down to the school. I would love to be there in person, but I can't be. But no matter what, you have the full support and backing from the Black Child Agenda. And keep on keeping on. Because unless we stand up like those that came before us did and stand up and don't apologize for being right, don't apologize for your beautiful black hue, don't apologize for your beautiful black hair, you keep standing. And I'm so glad, so bloody proud of our young people and what you have stood for. Thank you very much for also making my job a lot easier, but you keep doing that. If we were to do that in every school up and down the country when it comes to racism, discrimination, hair discrimination, size discrimination, religious discrimination, and also um, disability discrimination, then these schools will have to change. You and your racism will have to change because do you know who's gonna call you out? It will be the children because our children are watching. Fire! Bun down Babylon.